Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries and in this segment we're going to talk about one of my favorite pieces of test equipment to throw in the old pouch over here when you head out the door in the morning and it is our Ideal Volcon Elite Tester. And uh, it's our 61-092 tester, by the way. And if you didn't quite catch it, the name is Volcon. So the tester does voltage and continuity measurements. And in, in the field, you know, in a lot of cases, that's all we're doing anyway. So uh, it's a great tester to have around. And uh, it's nice and rugged and durable. You can throw it in the pouch there at the end of the day, and it'll be working fine the next day. Uh, so I think you're going to find out you're going to love that little tester. So let's move over to shop, and we'll take a look at it. When you go out and buy one of the Ideal 61-092 uh, testers, uh, you notice right here in the packaging, it says it's a Class 3 tester. Now, that tells me where the tester is safe to use, and it can be used in electrical branch circuits, into distribution panels, and then outlets in rooms like it shows on the packaging, and into appliances and stuff like that. So it's a great tester for most contractors. That's uh, really the first tester you want to go out and buy, one of these basic what we call voltage continuity type testers. And if I take it out of the packaging and take a look, what we've got here is a tester with a couple leads that store in the side here of the tester. And the tester is a Volcon, so it does voltage and continuity measurements. And one of the first things you're taught to do with a tester when you buy one is check the continuity of the tester, make sure it's working right and the leads are good. So we'll very simply take the two leads and touch them together. We get a green light indicating that, hey, everything's working, and you get that audible tone. That also indicates that, again, things are working great. So we don't actually have to look at the tester to know if we've got continuity across something, right? Now, we can use that for a lot of things, and one would be just to simply check the maybe the, the uh, circuitry on, uh, across this uh, light switch. If I put the test leads across the two terminals on the light switch, it's uh, beeping at me and making noise, and I get the green light indicating it sees continuity. And if I throw the switch off, it's not going to beep at me. And uh, another basic uh, way of, of using continuity would be to check things like fuses. So we could bring a fuse in here and uh, throw uh, the tester across that fuse. And we also get continuity as well. And uh, so continuity can be used for a lot of different things. Uh, we can use uh, the tester for voltage as well. And it will do AC or DC voltages. And the first way to use it for voltage is with this non-contact voltage button here. And that's what the NCV stands for. The tester will indicate the presence of voltage nearby, AC, by applying the tip to the actual wire itself. So if I push the button down and hold it up to next to AC. Tester's beeping at me and flashing, indicating that sure enough, it's near AC. And you notice it will do it on the, uh, new, not on the neutral, but just on the hot one. All right, so that's a quick way to double check. Did I hit that right breaker when I, you know, threw it or not? Okay, and um, another way, obviously, touch uh, to uh, test for voltages would be through the test leads themselves. And uh, the test leads, uh, by the way, can be attached to the side here as well, so I can have one hand free as I go across and start making measurements with uh, with the tester itself. Or if I want to just plug it right into a electrical outlet, I could do that as well. And I'll bring an electrical outlet over here. And when I look at the tester on the face of it, what you're going to see here is a bunch of stuff here. And the uh, first thing on the bottom here, it indicates the low battery and then the audible tone. Then above the next two lights, it says V with a straight line here indicating voltage DC. The V with the squiggly line above it is voltage AC. And if I'm going to measure DC with this tester, I could do that by bringing in a battery here. And I go across the battery with the test leads. The tester is giving me a uh, positive V over here with the straight lines indicating voltage uh, uh, DC. And then the polarity is correct as far as my test leads are concerned. And you see on the top here, on this side is the DC readings on the right side. It goes from 6 to 220 volts there. And it's indicating 6 to 12. So we have a 9-volt battery, so we're somewhere in between 6 and 12 volts there. And if I reverse the leads on the battery... It would give me actually the same reading. The only difference is my other light lit up indicating I'm on the negative polarity on my DC voltages. Okay. Now, if I'm doing AC with the test leads over here, I'm going to put, plug those into a, a electrical outlet as well. And the tester now has the V with the squiggly line lit up indicating voltage uh, AC. And on the AC, we read this side of the tester, and it goes from 24 to 600 volts. So it'll do up to 600 volts AC. And the 24 and the 20 is lit up, indicating it's somewhere around 120 volts. And these testers never give you an exact reading necessarily, but get you pretty close to the reading. In many cases, that's all you need anyway. Now, I don't know if you can actually hear that, but that tester is vibrating. And it's interesting, 
you know, we never intended the tester to vibrate or, or in the original design. It was a byproduct of the original design. Old solenoid testers would vibrate when you hit AC power like that. And it turned out when we redesigned this meter a number of years ago that that was one of the greatest things guys loved about the tester because the tester could actually just be in your pocket. And if you hit AC, you'll know it or not because the tester will start vibrating like that. All right. So anyway, hey, that's a great tester. That's, again, our Volcon Elite tester. Uh, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries. And like I said, I think you're going to find out you're going to love that little tester. Hey, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.